I think the first thing to think about with regards to vaccines is that we've had vaccines around for quite a while, and they've actually increased our lifespan tremendously. Um, and they've also reduced the level of childhood deaths because of a lot of uh, infections that previously had resulted in disease and death are now eradicated. So vaccines have a long track record of improving life expectancy and health. Another thing that's really important to understand about the COVID vaccine is that at this point, thinking about safety, over a billion people have been fully vaccinated. And so there's a lot of data actually about the safety of these vaccines. And although there are some instances where people have had severe reactions, it's a pretty rare occurrence. And for most people, it's the headache and the pain in the arm. And the benefit of having a vaccine is, as everyone knows, it's able to prevent infection. And even if you've been previously infected with the virus, it actually boosts your body's immunity so that if you become reinfected by some chance, the, the severity of your disease is gonna be much less than it would be otherwise. And speaking about being reinfected, there's some people also that have breakthrough infections. Now, in that case, even though the virus is able to evade the antibody response after vaccination, you still have your T cell response. And our data showed that T cells are very important in decreasing the severity of disease. So you're still protected even if you have a breakthrough and you have some level of infection. Your disease severity is likely to be much less. Mm -hmm.